guys, so today I'm just really excited to do something different. But today I'm going to be talking about tarot cards and my thoughts on them. So, first off, I do have two decks actually. I have the classic The Writer tarot deck as well as the Legend of the Authorian. Authorian. It really depends on how you want to say it, tarot deck as well. Um, I plan on buying the Osho Zen deck because that one's a little bit different and it's an emotion deck and I think that would be really, really fun. Um, if you guys never seen tarot cards, they're pretty cool. You can use them for a divination pretty much like, you know, maybe if you need guidance or anything like that. I'm actually really into tarot cards. I think they're really cool. Um, I'm not good enough to the point where I can just remember all of them. Um, I either look at this little book, but I actually just recently bought a book where it goes more in depth on tarot cards and I would like to learn more about them. So I plan on buying a whole nother book and really, really learning. But you got your minor cards, you know, your king of cups, swords, you know, pentacles, wands, um, all those. And then you also got your major cards, which I think are so pretty, like the empress you know, Wheel of Fortune, the star. Oh, actually, I can show you guys. If you guys watched my other video about um, my lucid dreaming video and what I meant, this was the hanged man. This is what I was trying to draw, but I can't draw, but that is that. But I actually am really um, into tarot cards. I think they can be a lot of fun. Um, they can help you if you're having a hard time deciding. And I know it seems weird, but a lot of times it's like the subconscious. You can, you know, really go with it. But... I'll show you the other deck real quick. Um, this deck is really pretty too. I just prefer the Rider Terror deck. Um, I got this as a gift though, and I do think they're absolutely beautiful. But, like, they're really pretty. But I do totally plan on, um, look how pretty that is, buying some, uh, the other one. Because I think that'd be really cool, because it's an emotion deck. And I feel like then I'll be able to really read it easier, if that makes sense. And I'm more of an emotion type of person. So I think I would really like that, but to get more into it on tarot cards, I actually really like them. I think they're pretty cool, like I said. I think it can help you make a decision. I think if you're open to that, and um, I know some people might not be, and that's fine, but if you are open to that, I think it can be a lot of fun. Um, you can find them in different occult shops, Barnes & Nobles, Borders, whatever you have, bookshops. You can also get them on Amazon and such, but I really, really love them. I think they're a lot of fun, and... I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I like things like that. I also think runes are really cool, but that's a whole other video if you guys want. But it's just fun. If you guys want more stuff in tarot cards, just let me know. I can show you guys how to do a quick, easy, like little three spread, seven spread, different things like that. Um, I don't know, it's something I, I don't know, I've, I've had these ones, like, oh my god, my dad got me these years ago when I was like a kid. Um, I, you know, I, maybe not a kid, but I kind of was. I don't know, I was like 13, but I really think they're fun. Um, I think if you're open to interpretation and kind of letting your subconscious mind flow and all that and really being open, I think you can have a lot of fun and get maybe even some answers also. Um, that's what I like to do sometimes if I'm really having a tough time deciding on something or if I'm unsure of something, I will take and do a little tarot spread, you know, really think hard of my intention of what my question is or what my thought process is and kind of just see. And most of the time they're always spot on. It's crazy. It's like my horoscope is too. Um, I'm an Aquarius by the way. But they are always spot on to such a point. It's like nuts. But... I don't know, I'm just, I think they're a lot of, a lot of fun, like I said. Um, I will say probably if you were going to start, do like a writer tarot deck, because, I don't know, I think because of like them being brighter, you can kind of see them more, versus this one. Um, I just think they're a little bit more, more basic, more easy. This is like the classic tarot deck, so definitely recommend that one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like I said, this was just kind of more of a touching base on, obviously, what I thought of them. I have them, so obviously I'm into them, I believe in them, and I like them. But um, definitely let me know down below if you guys want to see more about that. I am doing more learning and all that on tarot cards, so hopefully I will be more better equipped with um, answers and all that when I do more research. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.